Well, he can. He's got the power to pull a house, for, you know, but the only thing is he doesn't have a fan clutch to keep the thing cooled down so he can pull the house. What happens with these trucks are problem prone. The fact that those things die out on this one's been died out for a couple months. Right. So while driving around town, you don't have a problem. But when you're under heavy t uh, towing load, this thing will overheat and that's not what you want. So what we're going to do is pull that out for him and replace it with a new one from Flexlite. The reason why we're going with this is because these fan clutches have problems. Why replace a new part with one that's probably going to have his problems as right, well. Right. So we're going to go with the Flexalite one and it's completely electric and I think it'll solve his issues. That's a nice advantage, the fact that this is totally electric. So if you think about it, this fan is actually being driven by the engine. So it's taken a few horsepower to do that. It may be minimal, but you're going to get that back by installing this fan. So let me get this out of the way, right? And then we can start getting that new one in place. So one thing you want to watch out for is the fins on the radiator. So what we've done is put some cardboard in front of it and kept it so it doesn't get damaged when Matt drags the shroud past it. <laughs> so what we'll do is put a little clamp on either side and keep it in place. You just don't want to get carried away when you put the cardboard on. You don't want to damage the fins. I've seen some people actually put holes in it trying to protect it. And that means you've got to replace the whole thing. That was a good idea because I could have done some serious damage. Right? Yes, I, I've seen you before. Now we can you slide this in there. What do you mean, do I have it? Of course I have it. Just want to give you a hand, buddy. Have I ever dropped any? Well, wait a minute. Hold on. Don't answer that. Yeah, I won't. All right. Now, the cool thing is this slides right in, and we'll use the factory holes right there. So we're not cutting. We're not drilling. I mean, it's pretty simple. Now we just have to wire it in. Now, with a dual fan system like this, you're not only going to tie it into your cooling system, but you're also to your AC system. The reason why is, let's say you get inside the vehicle, you fire it up, and you kick on your AC. Well, you need these fans to cool down the condenser so you get nice, cool air inside the cab. Yeah, you want to roll in comfort. 